In this video, we're going to find out the speed and the time period of a satellite which moves in a particular orbit. So here, a satellite is moving in an orbit which is 500 km from the Earth's surface. 500 km from the Earth's surface. And we have to find out the speed or the orbital speed. The orbital speed is the speed or we call uniform speed at which it moves in that particular orbit okay so first let's write down all the given information and as i mentioned the height is given this height so which is 500 kilometer that means the satellite is moving at a height of 500 kilometer from the earth surface the mass of the earth is given the radius of the earth is given this number these are the standard numbers g is the universal gravitational constant this is also constant and r this small r is the radius or the distance between the center of the earth and the satellite here we assume the satellite is very very tiny and in fact it is tiny compared to the size of the earth so but uh, but any time when we measure it must be measured from the center of mass to the center of mass the radius of the earth is given the height is given so if we plug in so that will be the distance between the earth and the satellite so what a strategy we're going to apply to solve this problem so you see as the satellite is moving into a circular orbit there must be a force that provides the necessary centripetal force because whenever an object moves in a circular orbit or let's say in, a, in an elliptical orbit, there must be, must be a centripetal force. So in this case, the gravitational force provides the necessary centripetal force. That's all we need to understand. So the gravitational force provides the necessary centripetal force. So all we have to write down is the gravitational force is equal to the centripetal force. And now, the next thing you need to remember is the equation for the gravitational force. What is the gravitational force equation? This is it, the gravitational force. And this is coming from Newton's law of gravitation, G. So in this case, G is the universal gravitational constant. Me is the mass of the Earth. M is the mass of satellite. R is the distance between the Earth and the satellite and the centripetal force formula is mv square over r and this is the mass of the satellite because the satellite is orbiting around the earth so we have to we have taken the mass of the satellite not the mass of the earth okay and le let's say for example this is sun and this is earth earth also orbits around the sun okay this is the earth and that's the sun so the centripetal force, if you have to write down the equation in this case, in this case, the centripetal force here will be the mass of the earth, the speed of the earth divided by r. Okay. So in other words, here as the satellite is moving, I have taken the mass of the satellite. So this mass and mass cancels out. So finally, if we solve for the a speed here which is the orbital speed I get this equation and you see that this does not depend upon the mass of the satellite so whether you have a big satellite or tiny particle if it moves in a circular orbit at this height 500 kilometer all will have exactly the same speed so once I plug in I get this number 7.61 kilometer per second what does this mean that means as I mentioned before whether this this orbital speed is independent of the mass of the satellite mm, 5000 kilogram satellite or 5 kilogram satellite or camera for example if it is orbiting around the sun at a 500 kilometer from the earth surface its orbital velocity will be exactly the same and the second thing you have to pay attention is the, the distance, if, uh, if the height increases, for example, for 500 kilometer to, let's say, um, 
800 kilometer as the height increases if this inc r increases and as r increases the orbital velocity decreases that means if you are launching a satellite which is at a further height then its orbital velocity would be smaller and closer closer to the earth its orbital velocity must be higher okay so now let's calculate the time period so the time period means how long does it take to complete one circular orbit that's the time period and we're going to calculate by using simple kinematic equation. So if you might have remembered this equation V0t plus half a t square as a simple kinematic equation. And here, here we just take the total distance we travel is the circumference of the orbit, circumference of the orbit, which is 2 pi r. And and if you look at the tangential acceleration, the tangential acceleration, the tangential acceleration will be zero because the satellite is moving with a uniform speed. So in this equation, V0 T plus half A T square, the acceleration would be zero because the satellite is moving with a uniform speed. And so its tangential acceleration would be zero. So now, coming back to this equation, S equals to V0t, and simply I, I have one half at squared, and this term is zero because there is no tangential acceleration. So the total distance traveled would be the circumference, and the circumference is 2 pi r. That's what we have. V0 and t is the time period, and we denote the time period by using the capital T. So if I solve for the time period, this is the equation I get, 2 pi r over v0. And we know all the numbers here. 2 pi is a constant. r is the distance between the earth and the sun, which is this. Here, I already have calculated. That's I'm simply plugging. And v0 is the orbital velocity, which I had just calculated here. And if you plug in, the number you'll get is, five six six four second and we convert into hour that would be 1.57 hour that's the time period that means this satellite which is at 500 kilometer will take about 1.57 hour to make one complete orbit okay so this is it from this video but before i leave i give you a question and you have to write down the answer in the comment section below. Now, let's say what should be the speed of the satellite. Remember, you have to find out the speed of the satellite which is moving in an orbit and has a time period of 5 hours. Okay. The only information we know is the time is 5 hours and you have to find out what is the speed of this satellite and also what is the height of the satellite. Will you be able to find out so just do your calculation if you have any questions write to me and i'll get back to you and do not forget to like share and subscribe the channel thank you very much